What is up guys, Nick here for another Cinema 4D tutorial and today it's going to be a quick, simple and easy tutorial on how to get this wireframe um, this wireframe kind of x-ray look where it just outlines the objects and pretty much all it is is the atom array so if I go ahead quickly and make a new file this um, atom array is how we're going to get all of our desired effects for our wireframe objects. So if I go ahead to displays and turn on this grad shading lines, you can see that we have all these segments. So all the gr all of this atom array does is it turns all of our lines to uh, cylinders and then all of our points so wherever the two lines meet it turns that into spheres you'll see this very soon when I drop the sphere into the atom array as a child instantly changes it into like a, a wireframe thing and this type of sphere isn't the nicest sphere to do this with there's many different types of spheres you can have access to if you just click on your sphere and come down to type there's a uh, tetrahedron which gives it this uh, kind of triangle and then there's a cluster at the top there's a hexahedron which kind of um, has these panels of squares um, there's the octahedron which is it is a nice one it's um, mostly even triangles and then there is an icosahedron which is pretty close to the other one but yeah it's pretty much the exact same thing so regardless which one and then you can set your segments up or down to um, make your desired effects so the more the more spheres there are the less I like to put maybe like 20 I'll go 19 and pretty much then with this atom array by clicking on the atom array it's super simple it's a very nice little effect that it gives it and there's just a cylinder radius and a sphere radius the cylinder radius can't be bigger than the sphere radius it just doesn't let you so so usually uh, you just my preference is um, tiny little uh, I like when the the cylinders are very very skinny I find it gives it the best look when it gets too chunky it doesn't look so great and uh, you can use this for pretty much any single object in um, Cinema 4D you can use it with the platonic there's a bunch of different options you can do in here you drop that in there and boom you have your wireframe you can do it with you can even do it with a landscape so if I delete that I crank up the height on this landscape I make it a little bit wider make some of the like so now if I just drop this whole thing into the atom array and we have a big wireframe thing it doesn't look fantastic because there's so many segments on this you would have to make these smaller like you do like 1.5 or 1.2 is fine and then 0.5 or something when it's thinner it looks better in my opinion at least and then you can just go ahead and throw whatever material material you want on this before I was just using a material I unchecked everything but luminance and then I just choose a nice little bright color that I like just add some luminance and I just drop it onto that and we get uh, this this nice look and then if you want to go one step further you can just set the glow and it glows. It's kind of like a hologram uh, landscape of 
like futuristic movies when they have the big table that's a computer and it projects everything upwards. Either way. But yeah, the Adam Array is really nice because you can kind of just drop whatever you want into it and it just turns its polygons into spheres and cylinders. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool little trick. Um, not too many people know about it just because they kind of see Adam Array, they have no idea what it means, and then they keep moving. But I thought I'd make a nice short little video to today to uh, show you guys what exactly it does. Nice and simple. Keep it on the basics for now. Alright guys, see you next time.